On July 17th, NASA's Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, or WISE, completed its first survey of the entire sky. WISE is an unmanned satellite equipped with an infrared sensitive telescope. Launched in December 2009, its mission is to uncover some of the least luminous objects in space, from asteroids near Earth to cool stars and even distant galaxies. Because WISE observes infrared light, it catches objects too cool and dim for telescopes that observe visible light. So for studying the, the old, the cold, and the dirty, uh, you need to go to space, and that's, that's what we've done with a number of, of infrared telescopes now. But unlike other infrared telescopes, WISE is surveying the entire sky. WISE will certainly discover many brown dwarfs, failed stars too massive to be planets and too small to be true stars. If WISE gets lucky, one of these brown dwarfs may even be the star closest to our sun. Brown dwarfs may be part of the equation in planet and star formation. We don't really know whether the brown dwarfs are connected to the planets in that the formation mechanism may be quite similar. We know that uh, there are quite a number of stars that have brown dwarf companions orbiting them. And in fact, many, many stars are binary stars. They have another star orbiting them. Is this part of the puzzle as well? Um, we don't really know. And this is part of the exciting aspect of the science. You know, it's, it's wide open. You, know, you can ask almost any question uh, and you're bound to find some work cut out for you. In just over six months, WISE has returned 1.3 million images. Data gleaned from these images will be available next May. The satellite now begins its second pass through the sky, uncovering more hidden gems and giving astronomers a look at anything that has changed since the first survey. What'll be discovered next? We can only imagine.